write a few books and maybe that thing. And books have categories. And, and you look, and I just made when I see the word self-help. And so, because you didn't have to give your book a category. What kind of book is this? This kind of book, is that kind of book? And so it's self-help. Self-help. So you can't help yourself. I mean, it's, it's just an untruth. You cannot help yourself. You need some help. Well, how do you need some history? But go back to the Old Testament. I read one of the I'm going to explain that again. God brought the law. He showed them the way. That's all they're doing in the book. Showing you the way. But you can't do the way. You need Christ to become the doer in your life. You just be when He be. You be. He is the doer. I can do all things, period. Is that how I said? I can do all things through Christ, period. No. Who strengthens me? He's the one working inside of me. They say he grew in strength. Because the Almighty God stood up in his life. So, I hope you watch self-help. I shared with someone, I think it was yesterday, but I'll give you But show me that self-help is dangerous. Because a lot of times, when people are helping you, they help themselves. And so God showed me the whole meaning of self-help. They are really helping self, but the self is not you. It's self-help. They help themselves. Have you ever cried to anybody? Oh, man, you get time to do it. Man, you'll hear a story about how individuals were best friends, and they cried to this individual, and they thought that individual was their friend, and that is really Took that information to get everybody. Self help me. So be careful where you go get your help from. I don't know who can help me. I'm just being like, I ain't got any problems with that. <laughs> First of all, I can help you. So don't call me to I cannot help you if you're looking for me to help you. Can't help you. Don't get me. And sometimes you get mad when you tell them, I cannot help you. Well, you're the pastor. You're supposed to be.
God's favor in your life. You would never deserve God giving you what you don't deserve. He doesn't give you anything else. He gave you enough. And he did. Can anybody say amen? So he's given us enough. So you cannot go to God, put him in the headlock. I mean, I'm not going to quote that. Because you cannot change the song of God. So have you been saying, well, you just take this scripture and you go to the Lord, you take that scripture, you tell God, I'm not going to it God because you work. Hey, man, you can't give God what you You don't control God. You don't stop him from being sovereign because you went to Bible study for three weeks. That's not how that works. He's been ruling the world a long time. He's not going to stop the you from getting through your Bible for three weeks. Because what he wants you to understand is faith. Faith is not bad. See, sometimes God will shine on you, man. You know, I mean, he had you walking, and everybody would talk. But he had you walking, he had you blow up. He'll have you looking all good. But it's not true. It's faith. But then he'll have your knees break down on him. He'll have the knuckles scrape a little bit. And he'll, he's not doing it. He'll allow you to go through it through a poor combination. Because he's not making poor choices. Those poor choices produce undesirable consequences. Those undesirable consequences produce a new world reality. So God will allow you to walk in your world reality that we have created ourselves, and you allow us to walk in this world reality because He just wants you to understand this way. Now I don't have to do nothing for you, but I choose to do it for you. And so when we go to God in prayer, and I want you to be about the Word, and I want you to stand on the Word in 2014, but I don't want you to think that you could just take a few Bible study lessons, go before Almighty God, and I demand. In hospital room, they're about to die. They say, Lord, Lord, please, Lord, I never do it again. So the God heals their body. They come out and what do they do? Do the same thing. They in jail, Lord, read the Bible every day. Lord, Lord, go in the chapel every day. Almighty God, speak in tongues every day. What do they get over? But as soon as they get, come over to the Bible right there on the way out. And, and, and it might be on the other side of the game. God did not let them out because they made a deal. God did not heal them because they broke with a transaction. Who are you to negotiate with God? You know, Job tried that. He said, God, where are you that I might find you and all your case with you? God, he said, God, you hear me talking to you, don't you? Where are thou? I've been paying my time. I've been treating my wife right. I've been rearing up my children. Real good company. Take care of my employees. Man, where are you? Because I went to a couple of Bible studies and I'm putting your word back on you. Let all 
The point of 15, listen, God has already decreed. Today we're going to you shall run away. Man. Look at why. The Lord is here, man, is what I'm saying. God has already decreed some things in your life that He's going to release for you in 2015. He's going to release it for you. Now, I told you how the Holy Spirit works. A few minutes ago, I said, Now, while I'm talking, and that part wasn't too good. I said, The Holy Spirit talking to you. And He's talking to you, and He's telling you some things He wants to work on. That's how the record works. But when I said, There are some things that He's already decreed in the Spirit that have been released in the Spirit that will be made. Almighty God, 